guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to grow okra from seed first thing you're going to need obviously are your okra seeds so you can either buy those i have the burgundy go ahead and read this i don't really pay attention to that though or you can harvest it but it's probably not going to work if you just try to harvest this, harvest the seeds from store-bought okra because they might not be mature. You have to wait until the okra pods dry and then you can remove the seeds and do the same thing I'm about to do. All right, so what I did is I put, put it in a little cup and I poured a lot of water on it. The first day it was just soaking complete, like it was covered in water. And then after that, I put a paper towel on and I kept it moist. You gotta be careful so it doesn't dry. You could just have a little bit of water, but the paper towel really helps it not to dry. Same thing with seeds when you plant them in the ground. If you don't want them to dry fast, put put a paper towel on them. It works as a sort of mulch. All right, so here they are. It's been about a week that I've, maybe less than a week that I've put these in here. Some sprouted sooner than others. These are the okra seeds. So, show you. So they're ready to be planted. So for the potting mix here, I just have regular vegetable soil and then I mix in some organic matter food scraps from the kitchen and then some potash which is just ash from the fire because it's high in potassium and that's what they like not all plants like too much potassium but things like tomatoes and okra they do so here's one that I have growing I planted it a little bit earlier and it's doing good. Same thing with the paper towel that I said it helps it from keeps it from drying out. It's coming out, and I'm sorry that I don't have a bigger example to show you, but I'll definitely do an update video. So what you're gonna want to do is just I'll have to pause because I'm the one recording. So I put them root down in this potting soil, and you can see just about that much. Then I'm just gonna cover it up and water it. So when they do sprout, the lighting that they like is full sun, so six to eight hours a day, maybe even more. They need the sun for their fruit to actually mature. And these ones, I didn't have enough room in here. I'm gonna grow them somewhere else. And this is just temporary. I'm not gonna keep them in here because okra can get up to six feet tall. This is just until I get bigger pots and more of them. So I'm gonna, I expect these to come out in about two to three days so in about a couple like maybe a week or two I'll do an update video on these to show how much they've grown including that one and don't worry too much about how you're putting them down they'll figure it out and they'll probably all come up so the reason why you would want to germinate them first is so that you just know that the seeds that you're planting are viable and you're not just you know wasting water wasting soil wasting space with pots pots that don't have any thing growing in them so yeah that's about it i'll be doing an update video stay tuned oh and when you plant them you always want to water them and make sure that the soil always stays moist but not don't overwater and don't let it dry a good way to test it is by just putting a stick or a finger or something into the soil and seeing if it's moist or not so I'm just gonna keep these out here in the backyard in the Sun again you can put a paper towel on it to make sure that it doesn't dry out and that's all thank you for watching um, keep an eye out for my update video